Hi there. How are you doing? Today we will learn about how to train a puppy. I hope you are ready. Let's get started. How to train a puppy to take a seat. Teaching your dog to take a seat is a notable area to begin with your education. It can be a without a doubt valuable behavior for them to learn. For example, teaching your canine to sit down at curbs could make crossing roads safer and asking your canine to sit down when greeting people approach there much less in all likelihood to jump up. Train your puppy to take a seat in six steps with your dog in a status role, maintain a tasty deal with close to their nose. Keeping the deal with close to your dog's nose, pass your hand in an arc over his head. As the dog raises his head to comply with the deal with, his bottom will go on the floor. The immediate he sits, praise him and give him the deal with. Practice this a number of instances in quick but everyday sessions. As the dog always receives a deal with for sitting you'll soon locate he sits for longer. Be cautious not to mention it before your dog actions into position or they will companion it with the wrong movement. Practice this a number of instances in quick but everyday sessions. Give an OK cue to permit your dog understand while the schooling has ended. How to train a dog to stay. Teaching your pup to wait or stay is a simple conduct to educate and might be without a doubt accessible for preserving your dog safe, as an instance asking your dog to live within the lower back of the car whilst you clip a lead onto the collar. You will need your dog to be nicely practiced at lying down on command earlier than moving on to stay. This is our six step guide on how to train a puppy to stay using a superb praise system. Training your puppy to stay in six easy steps ask your dog to lay down give your dog a hand signal, as an instance a stop signal with the palm of your hand going through your dog. Instead of giving your canine the treat immediately away, wait a few seconds. Say, live, after which praise. It's critical to praise your canine whilst they're still lying down and not if they've got lower back up. Practice this typically in short but ordinary sessions, gradually growing the length of time your dog stays inside the down position. Next, you may begin to increase the gap between you and your dog. Start by simplest taking one step back earlier than giving him the praise and then slowly and gradually increase the gap. Practice in plenty of various places, across the house, in the garden, at a friend's and the local park. Extra tips I would like to give some more extra tips on how to train a puppy to stay. It's important to gradually increase the time you need your dog to live. Practice regularly and boom the time through some seconds every time. Look out for symptoms that your dog is going to break the live and praise him before he does so, set him up to win in place of fail. You can also educate your canine to stay in a sit position. Follow the steps above however begin by using asking your dog to get into a sit position. How to train your puppy to lay down. Once your dog has mastered sit, it's time to teach them to lie down. This is a useful conduct when you need your dog to determine the floor, either at domestic or out and about. With your dog in a sitting roll and a deal with on your hand, move your hand from your dog's nose toward the chest then instantly down toward the floor. Training your puppy to lie down in five smooth steps your dog ought to comply with the treat right into a mendacity down roll. Praise and reward them with the treat immediately. Practice this a number of times in brief but ordinary sessions. When your canine is easily following the treat into a down function you may start to say the word down simply as your canine is moving into the down position. Practice this a number of instances in brief but regular sessions. While your pup is lying down supply him treats, this can increase the time he spends lying down. Extra tips practice frequently and in extraordinary places, as soon as your dog is happily mendacity down on command for your home, begin to practice in more distracting environments like the lawn or your neighborhood park. How to train your dog to come when called. To train your pup to come back to you, you ought to learn how to be more interesting than the rest of the world. This is a definitely crucial conduct to teach your dog due to the fact it facilitates to maintain them secure and approach they can experience and gain from exercise off lead. How to train a puppy to return to you in six easy steps. You need an incentive to encourage your dog to come back, a really tasty treat or a fun game with a toy. Show your dog the toy or food. Run away multiple paces then name your dog's call and say, come, in a friendly, exciting tone. Getting down low can also encourage them to come back. As your pup involves you, gently hold their collar and both feed them the treat or let them play with the toy. Gradually growth the distance which you are from your dog, until eventually you may name your canine in and out of the lawn or from room to room. Ask a friend or associate to assist take it in turns to gently keep your canine's collar at the same time as the alternative one walks a distance away and then calls the dog over. Don't forget to praise the dog every time this is a success. 
once your dog is constantly coming to you when called round the residence and lawn you can start to practice in secure outdoor spaces. Long schooling leads can be helpful for practicing keep in mind when outdoor as they allow your canine a few freedom without giving them complete free range at this stage. Extra tips to train a puppy to return There are some things you should remember on how to train a puppy to return to you. Only call whilst you're going to praise your dog. Do not name your canine and then inform them off as it approach. They may be less likely to come back subsequent time you name. Don't simplest name your pup to place them again at the lead. They will soon make the affiliation and be reluctant to come back return. When practicing this command on walks, continually take your dog's favorite treats and toys with you. So you can preserve to praise him when he comes back. How to train your dog to leave something alone. Some puppies can find it pretty worrying and threatening while we take something away from them, in particular something they cost such as meals or toys. But from time to time as proprietors we do want to take matters away, for instance when they've picked up something risky or whilst they're playing together with your favorite scarf in place of a toy. Teaching your dog to leave is set teaching them that it's okay to have something taken away as it approach they'll be rewarded. Teaching your dog to depart something alone below are six tips on how to train a puppy to leave something alone. Offer your dog a tasty treat and encourage them to take it in an upbeat, friendly voice. Hold a deal within your hand with your fist closed round it. Your canine will likely try to nudge and lick your hand to get the deal without. Don't respond to any of these attempts. Wait patiently and don't say anything. Wait for your canine to back off from your hand, even just slightly, momentarily. As soon as they back off and there is a small hole between your hand and your dog's nose. Open your hand, launch the treat and supply them masses of reward. Repeat these three steps until they always make the choice to transport far from the treat. Once your canine is continually moving away from the treat you can start to add within the cue word, go away. Say this as they backpedal in a mild tone after which open your hand to offer them the treat and plenty of reward. Practice this frequently in short, everyday sessions. Advanced lesson to train a dog to leave something once your dog has made the affiliation between the word leave and backing off from the treat, you can begin to make it harder, place a treat on your open palm, that means your canine can see and smell it. Ask your canine to depart it with the aid of saying, depart. If your pup stays away from the treat you ought to praise them with masses of praise and a treat from the opposite hand. If your pup is going to take the treat from your open palm, sincerely close your hand up and await them to back away. Give them a deal with from the alternative hand while they efficiently control to depart the deal with for your open hand. Conclusion on training a puppy before a top tips on how to train a puppy. I have suggest you top tips to train your dog on five issues. Including sitting, staying, laying down, coming when called and leaving something alone. I can say that what we have learned today is the best way to train a puppy. I hope these training tips today are helpful to you. Don't forget to follow me for more effective tips. Thanks for your support.